goes on. Let's go. Hi. Yeah. Hi, it's Rabbi Alex, and I'm here at Forest Lawn Cemetery, and I'm in front of a grave here that I wanted to show you. I know it might show up backwards, I'm not sure, but here you see the word Shifra, uh, and you see it in English over here, Shifra. I love this because this week's Torah portion, Exodus, we're learning about two women who are not Israelites, but they're really my heroes because they uh, really were the righteous Gentiles all the way back in biblical times. And I apologize, we're having some grave diggers going on at the same time. Uh, but uh, they helped to save our people when they didn't have to. Uh, when Pharaoh asked them to kill the Jewish babies, they refused. This is an amazing thing, and it's also amazing that this is accounted uh, in the Torah. And because of that, they're offered uh, that their houses are built up and they're given strength. Uh, and it's just amazing and remarkable, the, this legacy of these two women, Shifra and Pua. Uh, I think about a word that has come up in recent lingo, Samantha Powers, the ambassador, uh, former ambassador to the UN from the United States. Uh, she had created a word called upstander. It's the opposite of bystander. A bystander stands back and watches. An upstander stands in the way of injustice. That's what Shifra and Pua did. Uh, and uh, it's really quite amazing. We're actually hoping here in Buffalo to have a upstanders center of some sort, hopefully in the future for all the many people that made a difference here. But may Shifra and Pua's legacy continue to live on for many, many years. People should stand up in the face of adversity uh, and even risking their own lives like the righteous Gentiles who stood up for us in the Holocaust. Uh, and that's really what makes this world better. So Happy New Year and Shabbat Shalom.